tukatoa statement kuhusu utumizi mbaya wa polisi wanamhara suyu Simba Arati The Orange Democratic Movement ODM party has expressed concerns about the life and safety of its national vice chairperson and KC governor Simba Arati following repeated violent attacks perpetrated by non persons in broad daylight <laughs> The party secretary general Edwin Sifuna said the attacks are being perpetrated by what appears to be tacit support and collaboration with elements in the security forces. Uh, kama chama we are extremely concerned about the security situation in uh, Kisi and if you allow me I would like to read this statement on behalf of the party. You can see here we have uh, members of the Law Society of Kenya who are also legal representatives of uh, uh, the governor Simba Arati. We have chairman in, uh, with the, starting with the chairman of Kisi ODM Mr. Kerosi Ondieki. So I'm going to read this quite quickly and uh, yes we will introduce you later. The ODM party wishes to express serious concern about the life and safety of its national vice chairperson and Kisi governor His Excellency Simba Arati following repeated violent attacks perpetrated by non persons in broad daylight with what appears to be tacit support and collaboration with elements in the security forces. All these incidents have been reported to the police and widely captured by both mainstream and social media but we wish to lay them out here for the purposes of a record. On 6 January 2023, Honorable Arati was attending the funeral of the father to Paul Okombo Ayema, the MCA for Boikanga Ward in South Mugirango constituency, when the area MP Honorable Silvana Sosoro unleashed violence with his guns shooting arrows at mourners in the full glare of the police. Governor Arati who was the target of this attack was safely evacuated by his security team the incident was reported at nyamarambe police station and to this date no one of the known culprits has been brought to book <clears throat> one of the officers captured firing at the crowd with an ak47 rifle was identified as one kevin lagat of force number 260865 He is a police constable attached to Honorable Osoro. Others are Simon Murithi of force number 119319 and Peter Muge of force number 239197, all stationed at Nyanchua Police Station. It is suspected that Kevin Lagat has been transferred to Parliament Police Station since that incident. One officer, Morris Kiambi, is believed to have been ferried from his station of duty in Langata, Nairobi to participate in this heinous attack that such a brazen attack could happen in a country supposedly run in accordance with the rule of law is beyond comprehension this incident was reported here at Kisi police uh, central police station and the ob number is here which we have provided to mr kimwele the ocpd and he says the matter is under investigation we take note of the loud silence of the cs in charge of national security honorable kindiki and the inspector general of police and the entire security apparatus their policy appears to be see no evil and hear no evil It is this silence coupled with the fact that no action whatsoever has been taken either against Honorable Soro or any of his goons in police uniform that leads us to the conclusion that this is a state sponsored violence approved at the highest level of the security command. The outrage came days after people associated with the National Assembly chief Whip Silvana Sosoro allegedly disrupted a bursary distribution meeting in Nyakambende in Boikanga ward South Mugrango leading to the tear gassing of the crowd shooting of four people and injuries to many others on the 8th of january 2024 as the governor went about issuing bursary forms in nyankembene in the same ward in south mugirango armed men stormed the meeting with gunshots rending the air many people were injured in the resulting stampede some including the governor security detail suffered gunshot wounds and uh, the dcio here has confirmed to me that that gentleman is still in office it turned out in, uh, in in hospital it turned out that those gunmen were in fact police officers the bursary distribution was presided over by osoro's political nemesis arati abana abana tia komi nyoka nyao abana fujo mugane tese yewega Ah 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 
Arroyo. Tesoro. As he was handing over the mic to me, I realized there was a commotion. I thought there were children chasing each other because there were babies running all over. Therefore, I had to ask that they are, uh, you know, what is happening. People sorted it is Osoro. Sifuna demanded that the Inspector General of Police, Jafet Kome, immediately transfer the Kisi Police County Commander Charles Keses and other top security officers in the county. Following the public outrage over the incident and fearing a backlash, it is now understood that the police in Kisi under the leadership of the county commander, Mr. Charles Cassis, are now planning a diversionary raid on the governor's residence in the guise of searching for firearms. We take this opportunity to condemn in the strongest possible terms the actions of Honorable Osoro and the police and demand as follows. Number one, that the IG of police must immediately transfer the Kisi police county commander. Yes. Number two, that action must be taken against the officers identified in the attack during the issuance of the Basa reforms, they should be interdicted as they await their date with justice. Sifuna further wants the independent police oversight authority to immediately commence investigations into the abuse of police power in Kisi County. At, at the very minimum, Honorable Osoro should be asked to record a, a statement with the police if he has become too powerful to be arrested. Number four, that the independent police oversight authority must immediately commence investigations into the abuse of police power in Kisi County. Lastly, all these things must happen within the next 14 days, failing which the party will pursue other avenues to ensure law and order in Kisi. The Kisi County security team earlier in the week, led by County Commissioner Tom Manjere, equally condemned the Nyakambene incident saying that the Directorate of Criminal Investigation, DCI officers, are on ground doing their work. We cannot be kept in perpetual environment of violence from January to December. We have other engagements. This is not the sole, response, the sole concern that we have here. We have other engagements, we have other duties to attend to. Let us respect each other. Let us respect the law. The county security chief called on police officers in the region to act decisively and professionally and resist any form of intimidation by the position held by leaders in the county. Tunalani kitendo hicho na pia nataka kuchukua nafasi hii kupeana hakikisho kwa wananchi wa Kisi ya kwamba kamati ya usalama inafanya kila juhudi kuhakikisha kwamba hiyo haitarudiwa. Tumefanya kikao na vitengo vyote vya usalama na tumekubaliana ya kwamba hatua ichukuliwe kwa wale wote ambao walihusika kama ni kiongozi ambaye alihusika pale hatua ichukuliwe uh, kwa hivyo hatutaangalia cheo in the meantime we wish to state that should any harm come to our party national vice chairperson and governor of Kisi honorable Simba Arati as a result of any subsequent attack against him the person named here, the persons named here, including Honorable Osoro, Police Commander Charles Keses, and the IG of Police will be held personally responsible. Antonio Sundua, Maisha Prime, Maisha TV. Yes. That is the end of the statement. Yes. Yes.